The Secret of Light Preface To the One God, the Universal One, this book is humbly dedicated. The original volume of The Secret of Light was published in 1947. This current publication includes some modifications and amplifications that Dr. Russell made with regard to this particular volume prior to his refolding Conscious Transition in 1963. The Divine Iliad is the basis of this book. The Divine Iliad is an inspired message from the Creator to give man the needed comprehension of his relation to his universe, to man and to God for the coming cycle. Man progresses in cycles of approximately 2,500 years. He's referring to the Indian Yugas here. At the beginning of each cycle of his growing awareness of the light within him, God sends messages through the prepared messengers to further his comprehension of the light. Comprehension of these cosmic messages gradually exalts mankind into higher beings, and thus each cycle is one more step for man toward full awareness of the light, the Satya Yuga, and of his oneness with God. The Divine Iliad cannot be fully published for many years. As much of it can now be published will appear in these pages. Further portions of it will be released as the world is ready to receive them. The wave. In the wave lies the secret of creation. Authors four. Jesus said, God is light. And no man of that day knew what he meant. The day is now here when all men must know what Jesus meant when he said, God is light. For within the secret of light is vast knowledge yet unrevealed to man. Light is all there is. It is all we have to deal with. But we do not yet know what it is. The purpose of this message is to tell what it is. Today's civilization has advanced far in knowing how to deal with matter, but we do not know what matter is, nor the why of it. Nor do we know what energy, electricity, magnetism, gravitation, and radiation are. Nor do we know the purpose of the inert gases and what they are. Nor do we know the structure of the elemental atoms, nor the gyroscopic principle which determines that structure. Nor are we aware of the fact that this is a two-way continuous universe of balance in all effects of motion, and not a one-way discontinuous universe. Nor have we even yet heard of or suspected most important of all principles in physics, the voidance principle, the mirrors and lenses of space which are the cause of illusion in all moving things. Nor do we even consider the entire material electric universe to be the illusion, illusion which it is, there being no reality to it whatsoever. Nor have we the slightest inkling of the cause of curvature of space, nor the voidance of that curvature in planes of zero curvature at wave field boundaries. No one now knows how it is that crystals get their various shapes. It will amaze the world to know that those shapes of crystals are determined in space by the shapes of the wave fields which bound the various elemental structures.
We also do not have the slightest conception of what constitutes the life principle, nor the principle of growth, nor the simultaneous unfoldment refoldment principle, which repeats all patterns in nature sequentially and records and voids them as they are repeated. Nor are we aware of that recording principle by means of which the Creator carries forth the sum totals of every sequential cycle in His unfolding and refolding universe unto the very end of its manifestations upon one planet and its beginning on a new one. Nor are we dynamically aware of the souls and seeds of things. These roots of universal repetition are now but metaphysical abstractions to religion and physical guesswork to science. Within the secret of light is the answer to all of these heretofore unanswered questions. have not yet even solved these. This revelation of the nature of life will be the inheritance of man in his coming new age of greater comprehension. Its unfoldment will prove the existence of God by methods and standards acceptable to science and religion alike. It will lay a spiritual foundation under the present material one of science. Two greatest elements in civilization, religion and science, will thus find unity in marriage of the two. Likewise, human relationships will become more balanced because of greater knowledge of universal law, which lies behind all of the processes which light uses to interweave the pattern forms of this electric wave universe. There is no department of life which will not be vitally affected by this new knowledge of the nature of light. The university, the laboratories, the governments of industry, and from nation to nation, all will be affected. I therefore give it to you with all of its clarity as I myself have become aware of it from behind the scenes of this cosmic cinema of light illusion, which is our universe. Walter Russell. <clears throat> yo, 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 real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Kind of like your sex life. <laughs> yo. Uh, what were we talking about? Go Deep, episode 223. Back in this bitch for another one, like I always say. Go Deep, episode 223, because your mother doesn't like you. She likes me. Ha! Huh? Did you like that rhyme? <laughs> All right, uh, let me quit fucking around, because we got a good podcast today. We got kind of like a little roundtable weekly wrap-up, like we used to do. Oh, shit. Yeah. I got my boy. I got um, Hamad is on the show. Hamad, everybody know Hamad. Um, 44 is on the show. And Damien from Trinidad is on the show. So we got, we, we touched pretty much around the world today. Kind of. <laughs> or Middle East, Trinidad, New York, and Charleston. We did pretty good. But y'all yeah, gonna like this show because we talked about a lot of shit. It was a weekly wrap up, so we kind of squeezed everything in. No homo. Um, let's listen to some music first, and then after we listen to some music, we will jump right into the interview. All right, you yeah, bitch. Oh yeah. You see that? Look at the, look at the fear, man. Look at the fear. Look at the fear. Look at the fear. Look at the fear. 
peasant wired uh, phones anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I completely understand. <laughs> oh, let's see, let's see. So, I think forty four is going to jump in. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, it's in the room, so he could jump in any second right now. But blah 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 blah. So, how you been, man? Oh man, it was insane, insane. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know uh, if you uh, witnessed what happened last, well, yesterday. Uh oh, what happened? Uh, <laughs> uh, I put out this uh, tweet, right? And yeah. uh, it was just me, kind of like complaining about the the runtime of the Mortal Kombat movie. Right. It was like what two hours or something like that. Or yeah, a little bit less. It's, it's even less. Like it's like right. an hour and 15, yeah, 15, 15 minutes. <laughs> right. Right. So I was just like, yeah, you know, like what, what kind of character development would you do in that amount of time? Because you know, M M Mortal Kombat does have interesting character characters to right. What do you call it? To explore. Right. And um, five minutes within that that tweet, you know, uh, I started like we started discussing with. People came at me who didn't agree, but it was it was very respectful. You know, they're like, "Oh, you know, I uh, can you do can you sustain a movie with the characters in, in Mortal Kombat that we know of?" Right. You know, and I was like, "Yeah, maybe. You know, could it be a show?" So it was like a very nerdy conversation. Right. And then this fucking tweet hit uh, film Twitter. <laughs> And, and, and like that never happened to me before. Like <laughs> just like quote tweets of like just abuse after <laughs> abuse after abuse, and then like it, it gotten so bad that like the, the check marks got in, the film journalists got it. I yeah, had to, I had damn. to mute it. I just had to mute it. Oh and people shit! People coming at me, they're like, "Yeah, fuck you, asshole, <laughs> Niner bro." Shouldn't have an opinion, <laughs> die asshole. Like fuck, it's a <laughs> it, like I have I have. That's why I wanted to come and go deep and like right, like, right. See exchange with you and I want to see your thoughts on this, right? Because I'm 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 sensing like very like this corporate conspiracy behind what's happening. In the right. Place. Like all right, like, yeah. Sense, talk about it. Why do you think? Why do you think they came at you like that? Uh, well, there's two sides, right? There's yeah. one that's basically like, you know, just random uh, uh, luck that uh, a tweet trend and like gets uh, viral and then like suddenly like, you know, like that. There is some luck that happens like, you know, what? Uh, but the second second perspective that I'm like really like I've been thinking about because like I've been shitting on bloggers for <laughs> months right <laughs> like every day like, i'll be like talking shit about it like uh, th th like film journalists this film bloggers are that karen bloggers are fucking that but I, and i keep doing that right but that one tweet about a wonder brother movie post and sign off's uh, article right is the one that like film journalists uh, really triggered and started being protective over that. Like, right, it's, right. That's something like there's something up with that. Right, 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 right. So and I wasn't. No, say what you're gonna say. My bad. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't the only one who had that take about mm. the, the the length of the of the film. Right. It seems like I was the only one amongst you know those people who had the same take who has a profile pic of Zack Snyder Justice League here, Zack Snyder Justice League here. <laughs> correct, correct. Re really, really showing which fan am I met. Right. You know? Correct. So it's, that's the only one, like, from out of all, I, I went through, like, Twitter, I'm like, I had to make sure, like, come on, I can, why is it triggering them that bad? Like, Because uh, so, Warner Brothers is watching you, bro. Yeah, <laughs> that's what yeah, it yeah. is. That's what it is. Warner Brothers is knowing your shit, bro. Yeah, they're watching. They're uh, they're watching this fandom, right? Specifically, right? Like, not just me. Like, the, like, the, yeah, our fandom. They are. Right. They, they have an eye on it. 
Correct. 100 percent. Because we we swayed we swayed it big time. But it's like um, shit that behind the scenes shit is still going on, you know, like and Cernoff and fucking Godzilla versus King Kong and all that timing. And and then you get this uh, Mortal Kombat, the two hour mandate or some sh- or whatever, two hours. But look at us. We got four hours for, you know, four hours of whatever, five minutes. Um, the characters. Now you see there's Jared Leto's Joker. You know, now Zack Snyder is playing around with these characters or you see and. I mean, Ava DuVernay, what if she she lost her new guys or something or they shelved it or something like that. But it's like um, because Zack Snyder showed Darkseid in the boys, you know. So so now it's like a Zack Snyder picture of the new gods would probably be better. A Zack Snyder picture of sure. Wonder Woman would probably be better. You know, a Zack <laughs> Snyder Wonder Woman would probably be better. So they probably hate us because. They wanted that SJW Ava DuVernay new guys. They wanted that Patty Jenkins Wonder Woman. They wanted all that shit that this fandom stood against, you know? And this fandom probably being monitored to like, because everywhere we go, it's like they're going to say either release the Snyder Cut or they're going to spam it, restore the Snyder verse or whatever. Warner Brothers can't get back to business with mm-hmm. us around, you know? <laughs> that yeah. shit is crazy. <laughs> no, like, like, remember like last year we keep telling ourselves right like oh like uh, uh we don't we, we're not we don't understand how big this thing is right we're right still, correct releasing this we met like releasing correct. this letter cut we we, we 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 didn't understand how big it is correct i correct. think now now i feel like we are kind of understanding we kind of but check this out Omar. check this out this is perfect symmetry the other day, uh, uh, The Rock, Black Adam, they did in Times Square like 20 different screens. You remember? Did you see that shit yeah, the other day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was like. Um, New York. Yeah, half, <laughs> right, right. But they're kind of just copying us. You know, they're kind of just copying this dude right here, you know? This fucking dude put us in Times Square. That's what they're really, that's what they're really copying. And we show as a fandom, as people, we showed them, yo, here's how to promote. Here's what we want to promote. Here's what we want to see. And apparently we got to buy it from that shit, you know, and that's a lot to do with Hamad. So, of course, Warner Brothers is going to be tracking Hamad around on Twitter, dog. Of course, you know, so you're going to be catching hate. You always catch hate. I'm starting to see you. I was, on Twitter, like, right? random, random. <laughs> like, before, before it was just like, oh, it was like, yeah, just random hate that I like, just as random Snyder fan gets. Right. But, like fuck, like this, uh, like post and Sarnoff article has put a lot of us, has given us a lot of us perspective, right? Of what really is going on? Right. That article, like that was, that was W of uh, WB's biggest mistake mm. that they put that out because Pico. now we're just like, like everything is clear now. Everything right. we know what what how what how WB is moving. We know what their agenda is. We didn't know that before that article. We're just like, oh yeah, we know that. Walter Hamada is acting like a douche. You know, Toby Emmerich is acting like a douche. We got J- Jason Keller on our side. And, like, that, that's about it. Like, it wasn't, but, but now we just, you know, that shit. Right. Because I, I, was gonna I say, personally think they're just going to just gonna strong arm their agenda through at this point. They have no other, they have no other angle, really, in my opinion. What's up, 44? I'm, I'm, I'm all right, man. It's kind of so early where I'm at. It's still morning time, even though it's the afternoon. Yeah, it's one o'clock, bro. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? Out, man. Good, good to see you back, Roland. Last time you didn't give us no video, so now we got you. So we're gonna take more mean photos of you talk about to talk shit today. <laughs> How do y'all know I'm gonna talk shit? Though? That's what I'm saying. Good, good thing no. to say, positive things. We can tell, bro. We can tell. It's, it's a certain look. It's a certain look you give that we know. This nigga about to talk some shit. <laughs> but, so, how you doing, man? How's everything, man? Everything's been good, you know. Honestly, been getting some good sleep. Just hanging in there, really. Right. The weather's getting better. I don't know. Honestly, the weather's been weird, so but it's been warmer, so that's cool. Mm. Other than that, yeah. 
was on a little bit of a diet, but now I'm, I'm kind of off of it. You know, I'm just chilling. Well, that's, <laughs> what, that's what's up. So we was just talking, me and Hamad, we was talking about, um, you know, like Warner Brothers probably patrolling Twitter pages and trying to keep the narrative pointed their way and certain shit like that. But this movement is just doing so much too. Yeah, the, what they're, what they're, what they're scouting out your page, Hamad. <laughs> or he gets some random hate that don't look so random when it comes in tidal waves, you know? No, yeah. no, no, that was, that was, that was not random. Right. No <laughs> right. I, come on. 1,900 quote tweets. Yeah, 1,900 quote tweets. I got That's not random. 2,000 already, right? Yeah, yeah for I also sure. think it was because, I didn't because, they, because your, your name and everything, you had Snyder said your name and all that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, least, like, you film Twitter is Saudi right now because we have the only only W in, like, you feel me, in, like, the last 10 years on film Twitter, last time I think about it. <laughs> walking around with this big W and we're bragging and they're just Saudi. That's what I also think it is, too. But, yeah. no, in, in reality, like, even going into, like, I don't know how WB's handling their properties right now. It's kind of like, it's kind of the same old shit to me, man. That's the way I see it. Like, it's like a lot of this stuff been came out of what, of what they were doing, how they were trying to push, you know, a lot of, especially these big properties, they wanted to be accessible. They wanted to be straight to the point, you know, and you feel me, action, action flair, get them out there, you feel what I mean, at least, you know, two hour, two hour most, you feel what I mean, get it done. You know what I mean? I think like Dune or maybe The Matrix might be like a, a two and a half hours, but I didn't think what you said was like a big deal at all, really. You feel what I mean? And it actually kind of shows like how people even view some of these properties. It's like, I was even saying, like, I was surprised to just see how many people say, like, damn, it's been 20, 20 years of Mortal Kombat, all this build up, all this lore, and people straight up say to you, boiled down, like, oh, it's just fucking colorful ninjas fighting. I just want to see people fucking get their dicks ripped off. Like, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> God <laughs> damn. Yeah, you can yeah, have that. Like, all right. And, and this is why most video game movies is trash anyway, because you feel me? And honestly, <laughs> they're making the Halo, if you think they're making the Halo series, it might be all right, but I kind of think that shit might be trash too, for the same reason, because these game companies, man, and I always say these game creators, let me give them some respect. These game creators, they sit here and they pump out all this lore and everything for all these games. They got books on books of this shit. More lore than a fucking movie. And then when it's time to make the movie, they don't even use any of that shit. What is the point? What right. is the point of what is the point of all these game franchises having all this, you know, you feel me, 10 stacks of books, textbooks worth of lore. You feel me? When it's time to actually even make a series or a movie, they don't even use the majority of it or they they pussy button with it. Like, you know, they barely even want to dig into it, you know? And so I, I feel what you're saying with that. It's cornball. Like, you know what I mean? Like, no one's saying that Mortal Kombat should be three hours, but I always was a firm believer that Mortal Kombat should have just been a series. You know, I think yeah, Mortal Kombat would work better as a series. Like, like people can say that it's just about ninjas fighting that are colorful and all that, but there's a lot of characters in there. There's a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that can be done with that. You feel me? Especially if you even look at, you know, how well some martial arts shows are doing today. You feel me? Like, I just recently rewatched uh, Warrior and all that. Like, you know, and that, that show was fire. You feel what I mean? And if they if they can if they can do a show, a show that's something like that, that has the drama and the build up, you feel me, the action in there, then Mortal Kombat would work as great as a series. But I think what people trying to compare it to the old one and saying, like, it was the best comic book movie ever made, well, video game movie ever made, it's like, yeah, that shit came out in 1990, 1995, though, and the bar is pretty low. Saying <laughs> most video game yeah. movies are trash. Like, you feel what I mean? We're supposed to be trying to up the bar. You feel what I mean? Like, what is you, like, if, if we're aiming for the same shit that we did in the 1995, then what is the point of doing this then? You feel me? I just watched the 1995 version. <laughs> <laughs> and, and like, back then, it was just, like, what, eight characters? And, like, yeah. not really much lore? Yeah. Right. I think there was about, like, like eight just... characters in there, and they still didn't have enough time to flesh out all of the characters. Like, characters yeah, like yeah. Scorpion mm -hmm. and Reptile and all that shit didn't have any setup. You feel me? Yeah. Like, you feel me? Kano got killed off instantly. You feel me? Stop playing. I watched that movie so many times. Right now. I watched both those movies <laughs> so many times when I was a kid growing up. I know them just like the back of my hand. You know what I mean? Like, Sonya didn't even really do shit. She got kidnapped and all that. She was low key a dandel in distress for half the movie. Stop playing. So it was like, you know, <laughs> if they're saying that this movie is 10 minutes longer than the last movie, I bet that the writing on there better be on point. It better be moving fast. The writing better be on yeah. point. You feel what I mean? They better be saying a lot of shit and get a lot of shit done. There better be a lot of talking like Dragon Ball Z. 
<laughs> so <laughs> let me ask. Let me ask. What did they want? Did they want a four-hour movie or did they want a series? I, or what I, was I it? Think, I think it just happened to be a movie. This is what it is. It's going to be a, a like a two-hour movie. I think they're going to try to do an MCU type thing and try to keep mm. it going. Maybe they'll keep it going as like a a, a linear franchise. Just get, you keep it straight. Mortal Kombat one, two, three. Just cover all the first three tournaments, or they might break off after the first one. You never know, because th- that's what I mean. Like it's, that's why I say it's kind of dumb. People even dogpiling on Hamad. Like there's not even <laughs> mad directions they can even go after the first Mortal Kombat. They don't have to make a Mortal Kombat two after Mortal Kombat. Even right. there's a whole bunch of different directions that they can go before they even hit the second Mortal Kombat if they want to do that. But they could just make Mortal Kombat two or three. I've even heard talk that they, this this um, movie might, if it's good enough, it might just set up a series or something. If it doesn't, if it if it like middles. Maybe they'll just carry to keep it going through like a series on like a streaming service or some shit. But it's like it's Mortal Kombat though. There's a thousand ways you can do Mortal Kombat. Like right. I say a thousand, but shit, they they they're doing Mortal Kombat different ways right now. Right, right. Okay. Are you really excited about the Mortal Kombat shit? Uh, not really. I was, but I, I I'm I'm also at the pace that like. I'm with some people where I feel like a lot of the Warner Brothers films kind of have turned into Disney films in a sense where they're all starting to come off the same and have the same vibes and tropes. Like they're trying to make them very clean and accessible to the to the mainstream. And, you know, like I said, I haven't seen the movie yet, but I, before I was I was hyped. But then when they, you know, like, so, like I would have preferred if it was like around like two hours, 20, definitely, but it could still work. Like I thought it was kind of stupid that they took Johnny Cage out the movie and the only excuse that they had was like, yeah, he, he they didn't want to make the movie about a white guy. And in my head, I'm like, Johnny Cage is the main character. I was like, what do you thought the movie should have been about Luke, Luke Kang, if you ask me? <laughs> I don't even know why this guy Cole Young is in the movie. <laughs> it's just confusing. <laughs> like they're pushing all this diversity shit, and then they done casted this half Asian, half Asian, half white guy as the main character. But then you got Luke Kang sitting right here, who's a full Asian character. Right. Which, which technically, well, you... is technically that I wouldn't say there is a main character more time. But if you want to say there is a main character and who the story who pushes the story forward for the most part in the beginning is Luke Kang. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. right. What talking about. All right. So I don't, I don't even, so even a lot of that stuff right there is kind of just having me like, eh, this shit sounds a little funny, you know, mm. but I'll I'll check it out. I'm not really hyped for it like that, like I was, like, like you asked me like six months ago or a year ago. Well, that brings me, <clears throat> that brings me definitely, but first let me say, what's up to Damien? Damien hey, just dropped good in. Day, good day, everybody. What's right, up, man? Hello. What's going on? Right, so we cool, man. Good evening, everybody. Hamad and 44. I'll put, hey, you know, put hey, them hey, out in the chat with um, Hamad on, on, on our stream. Yeah. yeah and, and and thank you for the for, for the hoodie. You know, um, I appreciate that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You said this your first time? Your first time talking to Hamad? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, I believe so, yeah. All right, yeah. all right, word. All right, Hamad, yeah. he is the man. If we just add another A, <laughs> he'll be Hamada. So <laughs> yeah. I should I should be the Hamada. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, let, me, <laughs> let me ask you another Warner Brothers movie. I hope did I, did y'all all see it? Um Godzilla vs. King Kong. What ha- what's up with it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that, my God. <laughs> What's I up mean, with that? I what they asked for, man. It was, it was giants, monsters fighting, man. But I have to say, <clears> if you're going to base it off kaiju movies, it's probably one of the most trash kaiju movies I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Oh, my God. What do you I, think, Hamad? But I get it. It's a Western kaiju movie, so you can't really expect yeah. much. It, it's an American kaiju movie, so they're just, they're just going to fuck shit up, punch action, you know, rock and roll in the background. It's like it's not as high as that's how deep you're gonna get. <laughs> so <laughs> okay. it's pretty. It, it, well, I wasn't really like impressed that much. I, you know, I thought they would do more. Mm. Is it? My, like, I, I heard. I, I heard about this uh, Japanese version, or not Japanese, but like the, the original, uh, original version of uh, Kong uh, versus Godzilla. The, the actual human characters are actually integral to the part to the whole uh, story. Mm. Like it's actually more political. That's that's what I was like, kind of hoping for that right. like in, in a world where like there's two titans uh, like fighting 
you would imagine like the humans would like also like kind of side with whichever titan they you know and there's going to be a lot of politics behind it right like there's people that are with the godzilla and then there's people with kong and like yeah humans fucking kong humans fucking with godzilla uh, you know godzilla humans and like oh right like right right and, right like, correct that's correct. what i like that's yeah. what i uh and, and that's why I say I it's really just a, a difference of, of like where it's made, really, because yeah. over here they just they just cut all that stuff out because it's just like yeah we just want to see the monsters fight, which is cool, like you know, but yeah, like, yeah but you know, they the made Eastern, the they're way, they, they're better at handling that type of stuff and making those connections between you know the giant the, the giant monsters and you feel what I mean right you know, the rest of the world so like man out um, west man I think we just. We want to see explosions and shit because it, there were so many times it didn't make sense. Like uh, Godzilla is a fucking underwater lizard or dragon or whatever the fuck he is, right? He swims around underwater. Why in the fuck would they drive King Kong on the boat like that? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like you just holding up a stake for an alligator like, hey, come and get it. And then they're like, oh, shit, none of our bombs work against this thing. Bitch, this was the dumbest idea I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> you know? and, and then they were like, oh, well, shit, can he fly? And with the quickness, with the ease, like, they just, all right, got this fucking a bunch of different jets and helicopters and shit and just lifted him up. But why would they take him through the water in the first place? You know, that didn't make no sense to it. Or like the kids, one of them, they were running around with a fucking like conspiracy theorist dude or something and he was all like he was like fat sloppy kind of dude but he was so you know what i mean he was so he knew how to get through doors and you know what i mean elevators and you know everything you know but i could that shit didn't match at all like like hamad was saying if there were some humans maybe trying to take down godzilla or some humans maybe trying to take down kong at the same time or there was just something else other than kids running around that the kids happened to be doing all the right shit at the right time to save the world. That shit didn't make no fucking sense to me because the humans, the the grownups look stupid. The grownups like, oh, let's just drive him on the water. He was like one inch away from the water and shit. Godzilla come fucking them boys up, killing them and everything. And then they're like, Oh, well, let's just have the idea to fly. Did that idea just happen, like, just now? That shit didn't make no sense, man. A lot of this yeah. shit didn't make sense. <laughs> you know, like, kids can break into Hollow Earth. That Hollow Earth is, like, supposed to be, like, some Nazi breakaway civilization shit. And some conspiracy dude knew how to just get in and how to do, you know? I was like, man, I, yeah, I that, some, that, something's that, up with this movie. That, I can't yeah. get it. Because they like the, I guess they thought the fight scenes and the bombs were gonna, easy. right? It was way too easy for them, man, for kids. And I'm like, dog, is this the biggest threat to the world that kids are just maneuvering through, like as levels I on see, Mario I thought, Brothers? I thought, it was dumber. I thought they did too much, really. <laughs> that's why. I was, that's why I was so dumb because they were trying to be do all this extra shit and make it seem like it made sense. And it was like, man, man just have these, just have them fight, man. Right. Why, are you, why are you doing all this? What's you up know? with Warner Brothers, man? <laughs> Warner Brothers, it looked like it's Disney shit. It looked like it's just a theme park ride, you know? Did it not? Like, it was no deepness, no Matrix deepness, no Lord was, of the Rings deepness. Hear, hear me, right? I, I believe it was just, just meant to be surface level, not not to um, not, not to go, as I mean, not, not everybody, as I say, not everybody could be Snyder, mm. right? And well, we're not saying we, that. We, we're saying we got, this, shit didn't, this shit didn't even set up a sequel or anything. Did it? Did it set up a sequel? <laughs> you know what I mean? I it, it's just, it's just something basically. <laughs> what what it? Like, what it? What it? I I believe what it, what they're doing is to try to you know, you know, it, it just turn your brain off and, and just watch watch a movie. You know, instead of instead of you know, going Damn. going deep and analyzing and and you know. Picking, picking up different things, you know, like what, what we do. Right. You 
Right. right. I mean, and I, I, mean, I, I just feel like they just had too much of that dumb shit in there. Like all that stuff <laughs> like about them find them take having con captured and them find having them on the boat. If only then they fly and like all that stuff was extra. They did they should have just had Khan just go to the hollow earth by himself. Like he kind of like all this shit is is nonsense anyway. It's all nonsense <laughs> right. anyway. Come on, yeah, like, yeah, why, are they, why are they doing that all this? Like you know what I mean? Like that's what that's what made it dumb to me. Like you right. know, the fact that this shit could have been way more streamlined, way, way, way more simplistic, and they're doing they're doing all this extra shit like Godzilla's bow and uh, atomic breath through the whole fucking earth <laughs> and the city and shit, and this shit is not fucking Causing like half the planet to fucking be destroyed. Like, what the <laughs> hell? Like, they should have just like had Kong to go over to the Hollow Earth and just come back. Is that simple? Like, it's like, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, the like, Earth. That, I mean? it's just, the that Earth. Was just stupid hell. And then Kong just coming through the hole he climbed through. The I'm like, y'all, y'all can't be serious with this. <laughs> you like, right. You right, because the Earth should have exploded when when Godzilla doing this digging shit with his uh, laser beam or whatever the fuck. I brought everybody in Asia exactly. have radioactive poison, they don't even they, they they don't even cover that at all. They just like yeah, it's cool. They don't talk about that at all. Like the movie just ends. <laughs> it's like y'all just y'all are just doing too much. They and they you can tell they just did that so they can just have. They can just have you know, I mean, Godzilla fight Kong immediately. Like, All right, we'll just, just have a fucking straight line straight through through the earth. You feel what I mean? It's like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bro, it's wasn't that deep. Shit. I could have took, took a little bit of time to just have Kong leave. You feel what I mean? They had the hollow earth be some whole wormhole and everything. Like, that. Was, even that was too much. Like, what is this, Space Jam? Like, it it don't I mean? feel, it feel like they're doing a, a disservice <laughs> A disservice to the fans because it's like they're keeping it like at a, a, a middle school grade level, just bombs, explosions, fights, and that's it. Nothing else, you know, nothing else, nothing. Exactly. No kind of substance. Right, no substance. So if you're 30 and 35 years old, 20 years old, 25 years old, whatever, you're like, you're missing out. But you probably remember Godzilla and King Kong your whole life. Then you're waiting to see this movie and it's some fucking... Bullshit, <laughs> you know, like nothing happened. Like Godzilla, there was this one part. Godzilla beat up Kong, and then he just stepped on him and started screaming. Kong screamed back, and Godzilla just got up and walked away. He was like, "All right, whatever." And that was supposed to be like the BVS scene, but they could have at least had the little Asian girl walk out and make it, you know, get in, <laughs> get in the way of this shit or something. It could have, you know, it could have been way better than that. I was like, yo, this shit sucks, bro. <laughs> they should have went, went all the way far. You're right. You should, you're right. right. If you're going to halfway copy the scene, don't it just was have, already a ripoff. It was, right, already, it was a already a ripoff. Right. It was a complete BVS ripoff. So just let the girl walk out. Be, <laughs> she be Lois Lane. Whatever. <laughs> Go for it, dog. Go for it. But they didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it was too much to say then. But it's also a verse. Oh, movie they're pro- they probably just, you know, copy and paste these verses movies after a while. Mm. Like, what did they do in the last verse? We'll All right, word. Let me ask you. All right. So this is pretty much our last, I mean, not, this is my last question, but it, it can go from wherever we want to go. So we talked about Godzilla. We talked about uh, Mortal Kombat. We started talking about a little me and Hamad earlier, but so the movement, it seems like there's more blue checks now gearing up to come back at us. Like they were, you know, just came at Hamad over the Mortal Kombat shit. And it seems like maybe Sean O'Connell is trying to test the waters and say his little shit. And, you know, what do y'all think is going on with that? What do y'all think is the situation where we got the movie? The movie is four hours. The movie should be successful, even though I don't know. Have they released any numbers or said numbers anything? Yet. Nah, but they, they, they released uh, they released the Godzilla number. They didn't <laughs> even release the Godzilla numbers. What they did was like two days later, they're they like, Godzilla "Whoa, what? Successful. Godzilla was amazing! Like, uh, look at the oh, like it was it's the most successful thing ever in HBO Max." And they're like, "So what's the numbers?" They're like, "Oh, no, no, no. We, we no, no. what what numbers?" <laughs> What are you talking about? Was. Godzilla was, was the most successful thing. And then they just like walk away. And you know what's funny about this? You know what's funny about this? And this is why why we Warner Brothers hates us now. We predicted this 
as a collective movement. We knew exactly that this was going to happen. We were yelling at about it online that, yep, they're not going to release the Zack Snyder mm-hmm. Justice League numbers. Uh, Godzilla, Godzilla and Kong, they're going to release it like a minute after. We knew, and kept saying it. And then like, this is exactly like, we see, now we see their steps. Correct. Everything. Correct. You're exactly and right. Fucked up. And Sarna fucked up with that article. We're like now we're very aware now. Right. Of what You're right. Done. You're I right. Don't really think, I don't really think she fucked up. I mm. just think that she sent out her orders. That's what she was supposed to do. Because it's not even about us successfully getting a Snyder cut anymore. They're just tired of all this shit. <laughs> They're already. That's why. That's why the THR article was big. You know, even the one. You know, of course, the Ann Sarnoff article and the one after about toxic fandom and all that. Because yeah. you know, they're they're about to make a a, a big push against you. Know what I mean, um, pretty much the quote unquote fandoms. You know what I mean? I that's, know what I that's what I was gonna ask. That's what that's what I was gonna ask. Never really considered ourselves as a fandom. Like you feel me? We were always just a movement campaigning for a film. <laughs> You feel me? Yeah, we like the DC, you know, properties and you know DC stuff, but we never, we never like went that far. Like, yeah, we were just here to be fans. But it is getting to that point where it's, it's been so long that we kind of are a, like, you know, our own fandom now. And they're they 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 they're getting tired of all this campaigning, all this you know tweeting and all that shit and pressure on them. But they don't really know what to do about it. You know, we you know example even with the you know the Star Wars fans, they have in a way able to like successfully paint them a certain way based off like you know uh, what you know lack of a better term like mostly propaganda you feel me and with the Snyder Cut fan the Snyder Cut movement whatever you want to call it now so Snyder verse fans yeah I guess it's the best term the Snyder verse fans it, it's a lot harder for them you feel me to you know to pin us down so what they're what they're just going to what they're just doing now with just painting us with the broad brush and with everybody else and just saying like you know all oh, this whole this whole culture of fandom is just bad in general. And, you know, c- consumers asking for cis stuff and, you know, trying to quote unquote bully corporations into, you know, I mean, doing, you know, you know, doing what we want or, you know, providing fan service or whatever you want to call it, or just, you know, doing a good job. Apparently we're not even allowed to like criticize, you know, these big corporations anymore. And, so, so you know, what, they're, they're, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say, talk about that when they're coming now, you said painting us with a broad brush, but now they're trying to say we're all toxic or half of us is toxic. Well, they're, no, they're just trying to, at this point, they're just trying to say, yeah, it's going to get to a point where they're going to say that all fans are toxic. Mm. It's, it's almost almost at that point. But it, it's going to get to a point where they're going to say, say that fandom itself, the, the concept of fandom itself and itself is toxic, and they're going to tie it to the patriarchy and all that and entitlement and everything. And the idea of even people coming out and being, you know, speaking out about things that they may like or love or having an opinion on it is, you feel me? I mean, against the grain is what they're going. Cause they can't paint, they can't even paint the Snyder Cut movement at all. I thought they, they, they noticed most of the time when they even tried to say they have no proof because they know most of it is really just a bunch of fans all across the world. We're all just clowning a corporation for making bad decisions for not, you know, for, for <laughs> messing up the franchise that they love, for, for not listening to the consumers. Like, we're not doing anything beyond that. Like, you know, especially with, you know, Snyderverse fans, like, if anything, you were sucking up to an extent. You know, we sent letters to WB, you know, we did all this, you know, happy-go-lucky wow. shit for them, so they can't Don't say that you know, we were, we were wow. burning it. And, and it's not to feel bad about it or anything. It helps. It, it helps in, in, in our corner because we generally didn't know. We was playing everything as it came. You feel what I mean? You're like, all right, we were doing everything. Like, all right, they got a, we got a new, they got a new uh, CEO. Like, you feel me? Show, show them some love. So, show them that you feel me. We'll give them the money. They do what we want. You feel me? You got some consumers here. We're asking for something. You feel me? Hope you do a good job and all that. That's a good thing to say. Wishing you, wishing you're doing a good job. You feel what I mean? And we, we were being positive in a lot of aspects of things. So they can't really paint us that way unless you're just gonna point out stuff on Twitter. People talking shit. Saying stupid shit, just you know, cracking jokes, and you can you can even go to even all, all my pages, it's like the same shit. You can point out that's what I said and say, "Oh, that's toxic." But it's like at the end of the day, it's just some geek motherfucker 
saying stupid shit about geek shit. If, if you really want to be honest, like, I'm not hurting nobody. I'm not attacking yeah. anybody. I can sit here all day and say that Toby Emmerich isn't doing a good job or Walter Armada's like, it's my opinion. You know what I mean? I can sit here all the day and say that Shazam wasn't that great and they should have put a little bit more elbow grease into that movie. You feel me? It's like, what, they, what am I trying to fucking burn down Warner Brothers now? And that's the whole thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? They can't, they can't necessarily do it. And since they can't do it, they're just going to come a lot. We're just going to, we're just going to gas, essentially. We're going to gas this whole thing and, you know, make it up as we go. We just say they're just toxic because, because we said so. You feel me? Because look what they, what they, we gave them what they wanted and they keep asking for it. And then they're going to go to the Star Wars fans and like, see the Star Wars fans are keep, they, they're still living in the past. They wouldn't accept that we're in the future now when everything's diverse and we're doing this now. They want, they want Luke Skywalker and everything to be white. You feel me? Then they're gonna go to the Star Trek fans and do the same shit. You feel what I mean? And it's like, and then when it's gonna come around to us, but it doesn't make any sense, especially when it comes to us, because there's even been for years people have said, like, oh, these are just a bunch of white dudes bitching on the internet. And it's like this, the, the real truth about it is the majority of us aren't white. <laughs> like, it's, it's just the truth. Like, the, like you feel me, even Zack Snyder can't even play it off that bad at this point anymore. Like, don't get me wrong, he has a lot of white fans, he does, but. If we were gonna go, if we're gonna base it off all the white fans and all the non-white fans, trust me, there's no, there's more non-white fans. Like, there right. just is. If we're gonna base it off that stupid ass criteria, right? Just, right. Just, like, it look is. At this, look at us right now. You know, it is. No, it is. Time, Hundred percent like of the you, time when like we, we like when they come at us with like well, with this bullshit, like oh, like look at the the uh, alt alt right white uh, misogynists, whatever. Right. Right. Yeah. All of them who are saying that. Who are calling me that are white people calling me. Look at look at this. Look at this monkey. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> hey, come on. I, I don't know, yeah. like they're white, they're white dudes, there's not... white there's white hipster dudes on the end that's calling us bro. Like, oh those right. bros. Like, bro, right, right. Have a, like you guys are the bro. What are you talking right. about, man? <laughs> We're yeah, not like that. <laughs> right. Here's what's funny. I agree. The Hamad, right? H- Hamad, you get this shit a lot. You're catching a lot of hell lately, and I see it. But yeah. also, you're behind. Like, um, what was Lex talking about the other day? You just put out the two. You got some trucks going to California. You got some trucks yeah. going to New York. Talk about yeah. that a little bit because they call you yeah. toxic, but you also. You also doing work. You're not just a toxic bro dude or whatever the hell. You're, you're actually making shit happen. Talk yeah. about that a little bit. I, uh, yeah, um, we uh, we we recently uh, closed up a like a campaign uh, for uh, uh, you know uh, to act, kind of like send a message to uh, Warner Media and their doorsteps, but like in, in a positive way. Like you know, like, mm-hmm. we're just gonna like. Uh, we put uh, Lex put out the the video of what we're what we're gonna use. Uh, uh, that's gonna be on the trucks in uh, New York mm-hmm. and in the Burbank, and uh, we're gonna have two trucks in uh, Dallas, uh, like around the AT and T headquarters and the plane banner flying. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Not at the, not at the top around it because like that was the that was the considered red zone in Dallas. Like the downtown Dallas is the red zone for flying. Right. So like they had to go like around. So like that was that was the the one of the uh, the, the most disappointing thing why we were trying to organize because like I came in I'm like I want to put a fucking blimp on a fucking <laughs> <laughs> on top of AT&T. That's that's like after I finished the last sentence of Sar- uh, Anne Sarnoff's article I'm like five blimps I want to see five blimps <laughs> <laughs> right now. <laughs> and like, I, I like we, we 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 looked, we searched, and like all these companies, they had blimps, right. but now they like they they don't do that anymore. Right. And then like there's uh one one company that like we're like okay, uh, the blimps look way clean and way too big. I think this is gonna be way too expensive. <laughs> so like, uh, and then we had to switch strategy not, not and like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and we we changed the uh, we, uh, we looked at uh, other modes and like the we we went pretty much tr- back to the tradition of a plane, but the banner is different. Right. Uh, it's pretty much tr- we're gonna want to show uh, that there's we are bi- we are a huge fandom. We uh, uh, like there is 
uh, you know, money can be made from us. From like, the fandom, right? There, there, yeah, there's uh, actually like there's zero reason to ignore to to ignore this uh, like yeah. this fan base. Absolutely makes zero sense to completely ignore it. Uh, so let uh, me ask you. I, I agree, one hundred percent. And even you think that might be why Warner Brothers doesn't like us because even look with the Snyder yeah. Cut, even with the Snyder Cut movie, you know the fandom helped get Martian Manhunter showing up so quick. You know because that was supposed to be uh, the Green Lanterns at the end of the movie, but uh, you know Zack Snyder heard the fandom and put Martian Manhunter in there. So now is Martian Manhunter IP floating around with Zack Snyder on the snack. Zack Snyder verse. You think that could be also why Warner Brothers is pissed at us? They're nah, not they're, really. uh, they're pissed at us because we actually, I think, we have the power to change it. Even like, yeah, yeah, get Green Lantern in right. into the Snyder verse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's Martian what they, they, yeah. they let him. They, I think they let Snyder use Martian Manhunter because they always use Martian Manhunter. Man, like, mm. got to accept it for what you it see, is, man. You see the Martian whole Manhunter idea is the whole but, idea. They have, a, they have this cool Kevin Feige mentality about being first, mm. right? Like how they use the black suit Superman first, right? Right? Mm -hmm. And they um DC, the, the um CW crossover, CW, right, 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 right. Because remember when remember <laughs> when Wonder even Woman use came it right now. exactly, <laughs> and you remember when right. Wonder Woman came out? What Kevin Feige said. He say he say he wish um um Captain Marvel had come out first, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. All all them kind of thing kind of mentality that is see is as if it is as if Warner Brothers Warner Brothers specifically it is a is a branch at Disney. Mm -hmm. That is what I that is what I just get from them. That's what it looks right? like. It looks like they, that. They don't. They, they they definitely don't care about the fans, and it's the same kind of mentality. I don't um, think they're a branch of Disney. I, I just think yeah. that they're they just deal in the same circles, man. That's that is yeah. what it is. Yeah, but the, the, the same is the same kind of is as is it is because remember they, they're not too far away from each other. Um, mm -hmm. from what yeah, I they, that's what I'm saying. Right? They deal and, in the same hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's go on break. Come right back, and then we get finish this up in one more segment. We'll finish this conversation up in one All more right. segment. But let's go on break. We'll come right back because we run out of time. All right. All right, word. I hope you like pain. You okay? No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> and now back to your regularly scheduled program. Yeah, he's meditating. <laughs> All right, you're not meditating no more, Hamad. <laughs> no, I don't know. It was just like you know, trying to. Keep it I have no idea what's going on. All right, so let's talk about that. So we on what two? There's both sides of the fence here. Both, like we feel like sometimes Warner Brothers do kind of they're pissed at us, or they try to trip us up, or they try to put a roadblock in. But at the same time, they try to you know capitalize on us also because on the beginning of the Snyder Cut. There's a big WB logo, right? So they made sure they put this shit up there. Hell yeah, they made sure that shit was on. <laughs> so, so what is the feeling? What's the feeling? Do they hate us? But are they are we just the redheaded stepchilds that they have to have at, at dinner, but they really don't like us, you know? No, nah, they they really, really, really hate us. Yeah. They really <laughs> they they're really trying to point. get rid of they're yeah. trying to get rid of us and like uh I, in the most like corporate espionage uh, Twitter bot po way possible. Like, like come on, like uh, 
I think they're just trying to push the, push the new line in. You know, there's a new wave in Hollywood. You know, and they're trying to they're trying to recreate all these franchises and IPs to push. Honestly, there's no way really around it. It's a political agenda. You know, and mm. they, and this is what culture is. You feel what I mean? They need these things to push certain things into you know, the common culture. Right. Like, me, and and they're just they're just playing into that game as well. Like that's why I say it's like it, it's not really a Disney game. It's really just a Hollywood game. And, you know, where this is just something that this is a setting that they're just doing in Hollywood. And one of the things about it is, is just that the, the fans are just taking the brunt of it because because a lot of us are the old, the old demo. You feel what I mean? They we're not. You feel me? They know they want to push this. That's why like, Disney's already ahead. They're already doing it. But they're letting us know now, like, hey, we're going to do Black Superman, Latina Supergirl. We're doing, you know, we're doing gay Constantine and all this stuff. And <laughs> we don't give a fuck about any of this stuff. <laughs> Right, you know, we don't, we don't, we don't care about you feel me, Henry Cavill or the Justice League Two or Batman versus Deathstroke. You feel me, Justice League Three, any of that. We don't care about Cyborg. We don't care about doing a John Stewart, you know, Green Lantern like movie. Like we're over now. <laughs> like, all that, think, all that shit is old. They're like you, all that shit is old wave shit. You feel me? We're doing this stuff now because we're trying to. You feel me? They came out and said it even in the Ant start off articles and all that that you know they're going after Black Panther money. You know what I mean? And this is classic Hollywood, too, because they're pretty much just going to be taking advantage of, you know, uh, I, for lack of a better term, minority demographics. Right. Because what they're going to do is they're going to they're going to give people characters or things that they feel like, oh, this is the first time you ever got this. Da, 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 da. You know, like yeah. I.E. Black Superman and then everyone's going to rush to the theaters and it's going to be mediocre. You know mm. what I mean? It's gonna disappoint a lot of people. You feel me? Mm. And, and, not, and and it is gonna represent you to an extent, but there is also gonna be their fucking their extra shit on top of it. You know mm. what I mean? That doesn't represent you. <laughs> like you know, so there's gonna be a lot going on with that. When the thing about, it, I think it's just hard for a lot of fans to accept, and that's why they're kind of pushing back yeah. against it so hard because like. They see the wave coming and like we still have time. It's not like they're making any of these movies yet, but they pretty much come out and said what their plan is and what they intend on doing. They've been using Walter Hamada as a shield. Like you feel me? People were saying that for a while now too, that Walter Hamada is pretty much a cardboard cutout executive. He's you feel me, he's a puppet, he's a stand-in, and they're just gonna use him as a shield. And that's what they've been doing. They just said they just say, like, look at this brown Japanese guy that we have here running DC films. <laughs> And he is so diverse and he's so Asian. You feel me? And, and everything's he understands so the great. black experience. He understands all our experiences. You know, <laughs> understands he understands all the experiences of all colored people. You feel me? Whatever. You feel me? And, you know, and he's 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 gonna rein in the new. He's gonna he's gonna bring in a new age for all of new age PC for all of us. You're gonna love it. You feel me? <laughs> and if you say anything like, about like, it, uh, uh, they're gonna fucking bash on you and say stop Asian hate and say that you're a fucking racist or something. Like, you know, <laughs> they're, they're, they're already setting it up. That ass. Yeah. I hate to say, but they're already setting up. They said it in the article. Like they, they just like Hamad even said, they're talking about like, oh yeah, Ray Hamad should understand Ray Fisher's experience because because you know Hamad's skin is pretty brown like his too. Like what the fuck? What type mm, of logic? That was fucked up. That was fucked up. <laughs> Like so, somebody like, same, like same shit um, Jeff Jones was trying to um, to pull. Mm. Yeah, then then they're like, oh yeah, and if you attack our executive Walter Hamada, you're a xenophobic, you know, you're a hater, you feel me, toxic fan, racist, you feel me? Like we don't support that. Like it's like what? Mm. Uh, so let me let let me ask you, how do you fight back or do you fight back against the toxic label, or do you just go with it and embrace it? No, uh, you just don't fight back against it at all. You probably, I would say the best you can't you know, fight it. to ignore it. Yeah, you had to fight back against and, that boy. You had yeah, to push back, don't fight back against, against it. Because it's, it's, it's really lies, essentially. You just ignore it and then just focus on the positive. Nah. You keep doing what you're doing. You can be the Snyder 44. Cut. The Snyder Cut came out and they've been calling us toxic this whole time. 44. The Snyder Cut came out, though. You feel what I mean? Because so you have to let me finish, though, Damien, before you get right. my point. <laughs> because we focused on what our goal was. We focused on getting the movie, staying positive, building the community, you feel me, charity and all that. If we devolve into complaining about toxic fandom, you know, trying to prove that we're not toxic all the time, same time, we'll never get anything done. That's what they want us to do. They want us to distract us and eat up all our time. 
Right. You feel me? We sit there well, argue with these bodegas about toxic fandom instead of pushing for, you know what I mean? These IPs that we actually want to see get made or done, like people are doing the Deathstroke HBO Max uh, trend right now, and it's actually doing pretty good. Right. Oh, they could have been on Twitter. They could have been on Twitter crying and complaining about being called toxic fans and trying to prove that you're a good person. Mm. It's, like, it's all about how you feel in yourself. You feel what I mean? And what you're doing. Action speaks louder than words at the end of the day. You feel what I mean? So it's like, yeah, you can put some focus on, you feel what I mean, false narratives, but putting too much focus on it, it, it drags away from what the ultimate goal is. So the fight back, the the fight back is to get your shit greenlit. Get Ben Affleck yeah, shit greenlit. They say you, as they say you come with success. Mm. You feel what I mean? That's why all these people are Saudi right now, right? Because it's like it's not because it came out. It's out. Mm. Mm. The hell is like, like you feel what I mean? They can say whatever they want at this point now, and that's why all these people folded up already because they know. It's like you can say anything you want about it before or after, but the shit is out. You was wrong. You said it was never coming out, and the shit is, nigga, I'm about to get the Blu-ray of it. You were wrong. <laughs> so, yeah. And you called so, it, you called it all this types of stuff, and they didn't believe you. Yeah, Yo, you're right. And they still <laughs> dropped it. You're right. So why, why yeah. feed into it now? You feel what I mean? They're just trying to, that's why I said they're just trying to paint us all with a broad brush now. I'm just saying, like, you know what? All fans are toxic. Can't Because we can't actually prove why fans are toxic, we're just going to say all fans are toxic. And the fact that they're even doing stuff like this is toxic. Damn. And then we're just, we're just gonna shit on fandom as a whole and say that this is this is becoming a thing that's too much and too it is becoming bad and unhealthy for society. Mm. <laughs> right? Let me, yo, before we used to have a little meme in the chat room that say uh, I'm about to talk shit and we had your face, but now there's a new meme that's gonna say. Damien, you have to let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> but he does he just talk, talk. I mean, I mean all right, all right, David, say all right, Damien, say, say your point. Fandom, I mean, I mean a lot of people feed into toxic fandom and it becomes a, it becomes a deadly cycle. It becomes you, them bitching about you, you bitching about them. Then they're going to fucking write articles about it. And then you're going to fucking talk shit on Twitter about it about then. And now, oh, yeah, look at these toxic fans. And it's like, bro, with motherfuckers. Oh, going hear on, what, right? No, I that. say, no, hear me, hear me out. All right, all right. No, at, all the, right. No, at the end of the day, we, yes, we there, there are people who take it too far, right? And I, and, I, and I totally agree with that. But at the same time, what is so wrong with pointing out, put it, pointing out the bullshit? Yeah, mm. not, I mean, yes, we're promoting what we're doing, right? But at the same time, we could still point out the, 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 the flaws and, and, and ask them to improve, mm. right? That's the only way they will they will change. Mm. If we if we just to stay quiet and, and not sit, it, it will be like, okay, everything we're doing I is actually, fine. I actually disagree. Right? Because it's not, it's not really because our, our prerogative my, my, to improve every single person. If we're talking, if we're talking about a group of people that are, are collectively around each other, that's different. But we're talking about millions of people on the internet that are both fans and bloggers. You yeah. feel what I mean? If we feed into trying to fucking reprimand every blogger, we're just giving them attention. You feel what I mean? If we go around trying to reprimand every fan, we're giving them attention. The talk, the quote unquote talk of fans I, who probably just want to hate anyway and just have fun and talk shit anyway, and we're going to be feeding into the narrative. Of like, look, look at all these fans. That, they remember, remember when the Snyder Cup movement was in the middle of all that beat before, and what was people? What what that, did the what did the they do? They start writing out. Oh, look at all these toxic fans fighting amongst each other. They're they're telling each other to be nice and stop doing this and stop doing that. See, it proves that they are toxic because they're they're yeah, trying to reprimand yeah. each other. It's yeah. like in reality, yeah. what was really going on was petty, just petty beef between subsections of people that was actually kind of personal. It had really nothing to do with the overall fan community. A lot of people didn't even really know what was going on. Right, exactly. But because this thing got blown up to such a big proportion, you feel me? It ended up painting, you feel me, as this, as this toxic thing. And that wasn't what was going on at all. It's just simply what it was. That's why sometimes you can't, you just can't feed into that type of, you can't feed into false narratives because that's what they're going to roll you can't with. control. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, what, what? I'm going to add what 44 said. Like, and, I, and I think uh, 44 and Damien, they saw what I posted the, yesterday on the chat. And I think you missed it. Someone mm. came into my DM, right? Mm -hmm. Through this, like, the whole, like, yeah. Mortal Kombat meltdown that I was experiencing. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, like, 
someone someone uh, created a burner account at that moment and went into my DM and, and was like, can you please delete uh, your Mortal Kombat tweet? Because, you know, it's, uh, uh, it's giving us a bad name. <laughs> I'm like, no, fuck off. No. <laughs> why, why? It's, 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 uh, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tweet about a runtime. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, no, 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 it's giving us like a, a bad name. And uh, <laughs> that person mentioned brand. I don't know. Now, like, I'm, getting, uh, I'm, I'm trying to, fi- uh, I'm figuring out where, this, what, what, what uh, section of the movement this person's coming from, you know? Right, like, right, person, right. Brand, yeah, you know what brand. I'm talking about. Right, right, right. Making, right. making, the, brand, making the, the brand look bad. Making the brand look bad. Yeah. Not nobody yeah. Right. You went from a, went from nobody a movement to a fandom sure. to a brand. Now we're a brand now. Right, right. Yeah. I've heard I've heard that I one mean, before. So right? You can't have an yeah, opinion. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the same thing I'm talking about. 44. You see, this is the same thing I'm talking about. At the end of the day, you have a right to, to speak out and, and say, say, say how you feel about things. I mean, you do it respectfully. You understand? You do it respectfully. And it's not, even if you're winning, giving criticism, I mean, at that time, I mean, I see some men give, say some kind of things that I mean, had, had me scratching my head, right? But at the same time, that you could you could do things in a way where, yeah, where, where you can still poke out of fun, but at the same it time, matter. you, you tell yeah, them, tell them as it is. At the, at, at the end of the day, you have to keep up matter. where things are, are going. It's like Kamal said, we went from a movement and then we were, we're now we're a fandom, and now people are talking we're a brand. And now people are coming around and saying, making it seem that we need to be the ones reprimanding people to, to protect some type yeah, of yeah. image. What image? We are fans. We are individual people around the world. We are not an army. We are not a fucking, we, we, are, we are not a charity organization. As much as people want to believe that we are, we give to charity, but we are in ourselves are not a charity organization. Mm. Yeah. You know what? Like, mm. we, we are not a corporation. We are literally yeah. the consumer. We are the consumer. We can do so much, but th- what are we really going to do at the end of the day? I can tell my friend, like, yo, cool out. You don't got to go so hard, but I have to, but I'm not going to become police of a fandom. That doesn't make any sense. Wow, and yeah. That, we, we that, that, that guy it's just gonna it's just gonna guy, feed into what they're saying. That guy was begging me in the DMs, was re- literally begging me, please delete. Uh this is going viral now. Um uh, you know, like uh, uh he even he even brought up uh Zach and uh Geeks and Gamers. He's like, Oh look at even Zach denounced Geeks. I'm like, I didn't say anything racist. I said, yeah, you you're talking about a exactly. fucking runtime of a video game movie. What do you, why, like, why, what, what does Geeks and Gamers even have to do with this? Yeah, like, come on, like, you understand? We cannot, we cannot police. That's impossible. That, uh, we cannot control b- behavior. And there's no way, whatever we do, whatever we do, we are going to be called toxic no matter what we do. This mm. is exactly. a strategy. This is a Warner Brothers strategy. They're going to push that. And like, if we all like be like, oh, oh no, we just we just want a movie. We love we love CW two. We love the uh, no no. They're gonna they're gonna keep hammering this toxicity. There, this is a toxic toxic group. We yeah. <laughs> we awesome. ruined their plans. We ruined <laughs> a multi billion dollar corporation's plan, guys. <laughs> this is yes. huge. Yes, this right. is huge. We, right. we are a yeah. fucking menace to them. <laughs> they want to get rid of us. They want to they wanna have control of their, like, their own strategy. They, they, without us, they're trying to get us so they could just be free and, and do this whatever thing to get that $2 billion movie that they, they will never get. They will never get that never, $2 billion never get movie. It. Justice yeah. League 2. So, Zack Snyder's Justice League 2. Yeah, yeah, but that's not in their yeah. plan. Like, easily, <laughs> yeah. easily. A, a, a Justice League 2 by Zack Snyder is going to shake the world the core of comic yeah. book. Right. Yeah. This right. already kind of did. Like, right. the, the Snyder cut. They, they could have they already like, been hitting those numbers if they were more established. Mm-hmm. Well, if they would have stuck to if they would have stuck to the plan. If they would have stuck to the original plan. Yeah, but no, they would have finished. Right. They would have. They it wouldn't have been no Marvel because think about it. Watching the Snyder Cut, there's no Marvel movie that can compare to that. You know exactly. And that was movie three into DC's shit. You know that was just three or four. You know, like with 
you yeah. know, Suicide Squad or whatever. But Man of Steel. Right, right. But think about Marvel got to movie 20 or 25 and they didn't reach Snyder Cut level yet. Imagine what 25 Snyderverse movies would have been. That would have been crazy. That would have been there's crazy. A, there's a reason, there's a reason for we'll that. Break in. Right. Marvel, Marvel, this is what people are going to start learning soon, man. Marvel was purposely nerfing shit, and WB wants to do the same thing. That's what they're really trying to copy. Yeah, you can tell what you can tell with Godzilla. They're not trying to copy the MCU <clears throat> formula as you see on the surface on the screen. What they're trying to copy is the fact that Marvel was able to drop all these singular films, nerf them, have the storylines be mid to not even that interesting, and, and you know, drop like you know, drop a little bit of story into even each movie. You feel what I mean? To build up to a big climax. If we want to be honest about a lot of the Marvel movies, the one thing I hate about it the most is that from every Marvel movie, from, from the midpoint of their second act to their third act, is booty. <laughs> like it starts off good and, they, and it builds up and then they just kill the hype every time and they just set you up to let you know, like, yeah, don't don't expect this shit to be like some top-notch third act. That it's not. We're going to do some goofy shit at the end. They set you, they stay, they set that up at the, the end of the second act. Every Marvel movie, besides like Infinity War and Endgame and all that, it, 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 it's just a dud. It has a dud ass ending, in my opinion. Like, and, it, yeah. and I feel like it, I feel like that's by design. Like, they could be doing way more bombastic and dober shit, but they're just choosing not to because they have this mentality like, oh, we're going to save it to later on, later on. You feel me? And then, then we're going to do it. That's why it took 20 years to finally get like two Marvel movies, really one. That actually felt like, oh man, this should actually have like a real third act, like a real, you know, superhero climax. They actually did something dope for once. Like it didn't end with the dance off or like, you know, <laughs> Peter Parker saying some dumb shit or something. Like, you feel what I mean? Like, like it did, it, you know, <laughs> it, did, it, did, it didn't end with, you know, Tony start giving it quick and some type of, you know, like end credit scene. Like, you know, it, it, that's in Marvel and WB wants that same thing so bad. They want to sit there and make plastic, man, hour, man, Blue Beetle, whatever, whatever. And then all the movies, they're going to be purposely made. They're, going to, they, they're not even going to put that much creative effort into it because they're going to save it all towards the end. But right. even the end is not going to even be that hot. I guarantee right. you. Like right. Even with all the buildup that Marvel did, people know enough, they could have did more. You feel what I mean? Like Just having the, all the superheroes run at each other and CGI fight, like, man, that wasn't that dope to me. You feel what I mean? I huh. if, you, if, you look at it, if you look at it from the back, motherfuckers just punching air. Come on, man. I'm playing with yeah. a whole bunch of people. You know what I mean? Like, that was not a real, like, it wasn't really that cutthroat, you feel me, of a, of a finale. What it looks like with, with Marvel movies is their trailer looks so dramatic. And then when you finally watch it, it's, it's a letdown. It's like nothing ever happens dramatic in the whole movie. Yeah. It's always yeah. fun. They're always, you know, successful. Yeah. Nothing bad happens, but their trailer to lead up to the movie looked like. Oh shit! Tony Stark's about to get beat up by Captain America or some shit, or he about to get fucked up. But then when you watch it, it's a happy movie. Nothing really happens like that, you know. That's why I'm, I'm tired of Marvel. Movies. Constantly getting you to gauge your expectations. Even people right. were saying that about WandaVision. They were mad hyped about WandaVision. But who's gonna do this? They're gonna be Magneto, Mephisto, Mephisto, talking all yeah. this. That shit was mid. Come on, bro. <laughs> that's that's and everybody was disappointed. Like, oh man, I thought all this stuff was gonna happen. And that's what Marvel always does. They gash you up and make you think that this is gonna be the one where they're actually gonna do something fire, and they don't do it. Right. And they say did, they, they say you see, do it in the next one. <laughs> did y'all see the film god video where they showed he showed so many similarities between the WandaVision and Man of Steel, like the fight scenes and yeah, some I like this. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy, dog. You completely, you completely ripped off Zack Snyder. Completely, and nobody calls that out except for us, you know. But like, damn, dog, that's crazy. And when we call it out, and when we when we call it out, they, they label us as like all oh, these fanatic crazy. <laughs> right. Yeah. We're right. right. <laughs> doing that, like. Right. Just admit that, like, okay, you you don't like Zack Snyder, but he he ha- he created a template he he created right. like a signature that a lot of other directors yeah. use it's fine right like, right zach snyder does I the just, same thing with other what directors. It is. They've been like, copying them. they don't want to give credit yeah. to snyder yeah. they, they right. don't want they don't they don't, they don't want snyder to get credit for anything all or you see the whole let me tell you something 
Disney has a, to me, from what my my observation from this from from being a part of the fandom since, um, well, uh, following this thing since 2016, right, and being a part of the fandom since 2018, February 2018. Now it appears as if Disney has a a, a, a set of people online to to shoot on any anything that would be a, anything anti Disney. Oh, they right? definitely do. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you, you, you make them, you, even if it is correct, right? Even even Jody from Jody's corner get death threats mm -hmm. when he uh, criticized, um, I think it was Infinity, other Infinity War and game, right? The the whole save, save, um, save Spider Man from Sony, right? That was a, that was a whole mess. You understand? And, and Disney was in the wrong. Mm. You understand? Right? Then yeah. Um, there, there's there's some there, there's there's some other stuff, but the thing is, it always it always that 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 t t twist they they, they they try to ch change the narrative. No mm -hmm. matter no matter what no matter what it is, this Disney is right. You mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. Other thing I want to mention, they disrespected the Incredible Hulk. Mm. Real, real bad. Mm. I mean, Hulk started off when you when you had the Avengers movie, and I get, I, 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 to be fair, I like the first Avengers movie, right? And I mean, you you you, you saw you saw Hulk had pro, pro, he was prominent in the movie. You understand? You understand? When 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 he um, when he asked him um. Oh, why, why why it won't change? You know, with, with your secret, you say I'm always angry. And he turn on it, mm -hmm. you know. You know, they show it power. You mm -hmm. understand? No, you make you make it. You you turn Hulk into soy dabin and make Captain Marvel more powerful than Hulk. Because look what Man, that. Why? Look what that is. That's more like what uh, Forty Four was talking about earlier. Is is political? They were called. They're taking out toxicity. And replacing it with a woman strength. That's what it is. Male toxicity get knocked down to lift up a woman power. You don't need, you don't need to do that because look at how mm -hmm. Snyder, look at look at Batman versus Superman. Mm -hmm. A perfect example is the fact that one woman had to come and save Batman. You mm -hmm. know that? But at the mm -hmm. same time, you do. Know, you 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 don't you, you, you don't disrespect Superman, right? Which which you even come and show you that here what Superman is the man when right. in, in the heroes park in the heroes park scene when Superman hit hit one on one the boat boom you understand <laughs> <laughs> coconut <laughs> you understand right so right you know I mean you, you you still show you still show the character respect because even Wonder Woman stood up to um. To, to Steppenwolf, mm -hmm. right? But mm -hmm. at the same time, it doesn't it doesn't diminish Superman. Mm -hmm. And this is what and this is the opposite of what it is what it is Marvel do. Marvel Marvel the, the power the power Hulk to to, to give what to give um Captain Marvel more prom um, um they, they also more, did it more set say. Up you understand? Up I mean Thanos. look at how look at how Thanos knock out the credible Hulk. Knock him the fuck out. Mm. I mean, why? <laughs> Crack of the in his ship or some shit like that. It's you know <laughs> because it, it's. Me, watch me. I am a Credible Hulk fan mm -hmm. since Lou Ferrengo and mm. Bill Bixby. Mm. Right? Mm. And nothing else. And you see the fact that even my wife mentioned it. She said, but wait now, Hulk afraid? Hulk, <laughs> Hulk want to come out? <laughs> Even if you say that is in the comics, it's bullshit. You understand? Know it's, it's, it's political. It's what Hollywood does. So they, you got two incredible Hulk. It will always be an incredible Hulk. Hulk, 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 Hulk is the strongest ever. Mm. You understand? Know mm. So look at, look at, uh, uh, I'll be, I'll be honest, show I, I, you. I pretty much gave up on Marvel at that point. Just to show you. It had a movie called an animated movie called Hulk vs. Thor, Hulk vs. Wolverine. Have you all ever seen that? Yes. Yeah, I've seen that. Thor Hulk due to Thor. Mm -hmm. 
you see what you see what Marvel did with Hulk in in a, um um the 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 the, 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 the sequel mm-hmm. where, where, where um it was supposed to be Planet Hulk but it's a little Planet Planet Thor, right? Mm-hmm. You you make you make Thor knock out the Incredible Hulk, right? You start it, watch me. I tell you, real disrespect. Right. Thor beat Hulk with without a weapon, and in the animated Planet Hulk movie, Hulk beat Beta Ray Bill. Right. Right. And right. in the comics, for people, for comic people who are watching this, Hulk, um, I mean, sorry, Beta Ray Bill beat beat Thor for the for the hammer. Right. Right. And, right. And, uh, for the, for for Mjolnir. Right. And that's why um instead of instead order instead of giving him Mjolnir, he end up making Stormbreaker for him. Right. 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 So I mean. Right. I mean, but I'm a comics person, and and I can see that. I mean, why? why? No, you're right. You're right. But it's it's political because, like Disney, wants the America because the American we're supposed to be the toxic masculinity or just like what they're doing now with um, the fandom they want to take the toxicity out so like nerd queens being elevated to who they are in the fandom they're the people that wanted to keep the sjw shit going on in the movement in this fandom or whatever whatever but all the toxic ones like us we get the Hulk treatment. We can't get it up, you know? That's what it is. That's because toxic. it's toxic. Like it's, it's, how the, it's how the world is. It's how the world is right now, you know? So that's why they don't like Zack Snyder. So we're the bad guys? Mm. Too much toxic masculinity, <laughs> man. Too much. It's too much round table. We don't got no bad girls. The whole time, man. Yeah, we we don't got no girls on the show. We don't got no. Too much testosterone. And it's, uh, none yeah. of us are white. You know, we don't got no white people on the show. So, you know, we're going to oh, catch man, this like Wait, wait, this is like the, the weakest round table. No way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Damn, Bunch of colored. <laughs> right. We, we got no women, no gay people, no, no white people, no <laughs> nothing, though. We just straight fucked up. <laughs> I, 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 just, <laughs> 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 All right, yo, we got, we got, we got nine minutes left. Parademon, we're gonna start with you. I want to uh, just give you a shout out and where everybody can find you if they want to get in touch with you and everything. We're gonna go over uh, 44 first, Damien second, then we're gonna finish off with Haman. Oh well, man. Uh, shout out to everybody, man. Sort of Snyder verse and all that, you know. But honestly, I expect that it's a lot more whack movies that's come down the pipe, you feel me? But hopefully they actually do make, you know, announce that and that might be fire, even if it isn't, you know, Snyderverse. So, you know, we'll see. But, and yeah, you can find me on pretty much Twitter for the most part. Still be there chilling for, word, for now. You know what word, I mean? word, word. Other than that, and you cop that Blu ray. It's not Snyder Cut Blu ray. <laughs> Was that shit come out in May or some shit? Yeah, sure you get that. I like Korean shits. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Word. Thanks for coming on the show, Day Forty Four. Damien, no you up? Damien, you up, though? Give me a shout out. That's what the what the saying. I mean, I mean, everybody have a have a right to the opinion, you know, and to 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 express that express that uh, opinion, but do it respectfully, respect respectfully, you know, and I don't know. You know, um, not because they are powerful, um, because them are, are a powerful corporation, right? You, you can't, you can't oppose them. So, now, I'm, I'm in, in Trinidad here. I'm part of the union, right? Right, a, a, a union member, and, and you know, it, we, we always have to go up against the government in terms of salary negotiations, um, workers, workers issues, you know, you know. So nobody should, should be afraid. You understand? Because we're breathing the same here. You understand? You know, and it is it, is it, is good. It's good to have a balance, right? I mean, not to say we're taking over your, your job, but at the same time, we, 
coach. We look, you know, you know, giving you a piece of advice. Mm. It's up to you to take it out. It's either here or four bear. Ezekiel Tree. Right? All right. Um, you can find me at uh, in, on Twitter at D Damian Gold, D A M I A N G O A L 30. Right? All right. Word. Word. Thanks for coming on the show, homie. Appreciate it. All right. Um, Hamad, Hamada, it's yeah. year up, man. What's going on? Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, thank uh, uh, Lex, Mosco, Andre, Lil, yeah, yeah. Dinamica, yeah. Uh, uh, the team that organized this uh, campaign. Oh, and yeah. uh, big, big, big shout out to the community who oh, yeah. helped us hit that goal like, like, not like it's nothing. Within like few days, we got it. Like, we, we managed to uh, f fund the whole, the whole campaign of three cities. Uh, so, a shout out to the community. Community, I love, I love you guys. Uh, this is probably the last campaign I'll ever do for, for this. <laughs> uh, so I, uh, I'm gonna be right. yeah. After this, I'm gonna be out. Like uh, I, I feel like we've done everything we can. The, if, if Warner Brothers can't see it or they don't want to see it, they will never see it. Mm. Uh, uh, I will just say uh, uh, for the, the for the people that are gonna stick around, just stick around and keep making noise. Just be a be a pain in the ass to them. Right. That's. Uh, I mean, if they're not going to cater to their uh, consumer, just be a pain in the ass. Fuck them. Mm. <laughs> Tired of their bullshit. <laughs> well, well, yeah, uh, thank you all in this, in this round table. Damien, 44, and obviously the host. So. Yep, nice, nice. Well, you've got one more um, campaign. you got to fly a blimp that say Peely Swain is the best over Charles. <laughs> 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 They have a blimp. Uh, they, they, supposedly, blimps are out of fashion now. It doesn't make sense. Like oh, blimps are awesome. Like imagine, like just hovering. Hell like, yeah, no. Stop doing I, it. I All like I like blimps. Doing. Yeah. <laughs> Some reason they, they don't do that anymore. Damn. What about skywriting? They still do that shit. Yeah, but like we, uh, it's it, 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 uh, we, we were thinking about that, but uh, it was wasn't feasible for Dallas. Mm. All right, like it, it, it would have been like a lot uh, far away, and like you know, so the a big banner just circling around downtown. Is, right, right. Stick with the guns, dog. If it ain't broke, yeah. don't fix it, bro. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> All right, man. Well, I appreciate you guys coming. I'll try to get this out sometime tonight. It'll be out. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Thanks, man. Thank you, Peace. Hey, guys. Peace. Peace.